My name's Adam Farrer. Here I am now, officially retired. Now, who knows what retired means, of course. My life story is precisely that. It's running into walls and finding that you can still achieve new and really rewarding and successful pathways. As a kid, uh, what I wanted to do was be a painter. But did I work at it? Not really. And did it ever come to anything? Not really. As an adolescent, as a youth, I thought maybe I'd be an architect. But you actually have to do these things oh, at school. What was it? Um, study, uh, particularly pass exams. Uh, you know, science, for example, really would have been handy. Didn't do that, so that didn't come off. But I did act. I left school and auditioned for NIDA and I'd never had any trouble learning a script, but left to my own devices rather than the discipline of someone producing a play. I left that step out and so I failed my NIDA audition, another huge gap. I then went to university and thought I'd have an academic career there. But once again, life sort of um, took over a little bit. So then I decided that I was going to go back and show them all. I uh, went to Sydney University to do my PhD, and I spent seven years not doing the PhD. But to get again to the end of that point and go, oh, fuck, I haven't done this. Those experiences are actually quite deep. I mean, I've sort of made light of failing a NIDA audition. But the sense of failure and humiliation when you don't achieve those goals is really huge. Um, here is Adam, he does this. That's a lie, no he doesn't. Okay, that didn't work, I'll try something else. That, you, can, you can do that, but living through the sense of, this is who I have been, and now I'm not. That's, that's the, the shattering thing. And that, that's, that was a pattern three or four times. Either just give up and retreat, or to just weather the storm. I, I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit to, to even talk about the feeling of being conspicuously unsuccessful. Um, and that's a really interesting feeling, I think. Um, not interesting, it's bloody horrible. But it's interesting to get to the other side. And if you don't know how to work at it, um, then it's a very frightening space to be, to be where you are being seen as confident, where you are relying on your talents, but not knowing how to work at making them come to something. I don't think there was a formula about how to get through it, um, go and find the next thing, it'll be okay if you do that. I think life presented things, and if you ignored them, then you would end up in a very bad place. But if you took them up and said, okay, I can do this and make that as much of a who I am as the thing that didn't happen. But if you held your breath and did nothing, you didn't get on with doing something else, then I imagine it would destroy you. Yeah. Oh, this is who I am. Oh, I'm not that either. What a pity. And it can be, it can be really challenging. But if there's another thing to move to and you're prepared to grasp it, then I think you grow. I spent most of my working life working either in universities for a while, um, a little bit of sort of journalism, but mainly in the social welfare sector. I guess in some senses it's a career that worked out for me quite unexpectedly. Um, but became something which really mattered and I think I managed to actually make a, a reasonable go of it. I ended up, um, after many years working in peak bodies around social welfare and public policy for not-for-profit housing providers and then made a transition to retirement working for Shelter New South Wales which was a, the, the peak housing justice advocacy organisation.